Hey designers, it's Elizabeth from Designer Up, and it's Watch Me Work Wednesday, where I show you how to apply a UI UX resource or tool to your workflow like a professional designer in 10 minutes or less. In web UI and product design, icons are one of the most commonly used graphical elements in our work. We use them in mobile apps, on landing pages, in user interfaces, etc. So being able to find and sort through and organize great icon sets is really important. And it's something we tend to do right when we're actually working on the project. But if you start collecting icons and organizing them ahead of time, it can really help you save a lot of time and optimize your workflow. So I recommend collecting icon sets and then adding them to an icon app. Icon Set is a great app that lets you store and organize all of your SVG icons on your computer so you can easily categorize them and make them searchable and ready when you start to design. So Icon Set is a completely free app. It works on Mac and Windows. Just head over to iconset.io and then download it for your operating system. Once you do that, the icon looks like this. And this is the app without any icons. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a nice icon set. One of my favorites is Ava Icons by Acvio, and these really lovely line icons are open source. It's 480 of them, and as you can see, you can download the SVG or PNG. And so I'll just go up here and click on download and download the entire design pack to my desktop. There are also some great sets linked on the iconset.io site, so you can browse those and add those to your app as well. So once you've downloaded and unzipped your icon set, you want to head over to the icon set app. In the left sidebar, you'll see a small plus icon. Click on that and then click on new set. So let's name our set Ava line icons because there's two versions of this set, the line and then the filled and we're going to click on browse icon so i'm going to find the outline version and click select i like to toggle on optimize and clean svg files just in case there are any artifacts that you don't want in there and then i am going to click create and import and just like that it's imported all of those beautiful minimalist line icons so i'm going to go ahead and do it again with the other set so plus sign new set I'm going to name this Ava Filled Icons, Browse, and I'm going to go to Fill, and then select and create an import. And then it's created me another set here. So with these icons, I can add notes to them. I can search. So if I want to look for, let's say, a cloud, it will show me all the clouds. I can view in the different subsets. I can select all icons um, if I want to find a book. So no matter how many icon sets you put in here, you can search them all and favorite them and keep everything really organized. You can also change the size, which is nice if you wanna see them a little larger. And then if you click on the little toggle here for the settings, you can turn on dark mode and see what they look like. And you can also choose a couple more advanced settings. So sometimes you'll notice when you're working and you're looking for a specific icon to represent something, some of the labels of these icons may not exactly fit with what you're thinking. I'm looking for an icon to represent that something is fast, for example, or speed. If I search these icons and I look for fast, well, don't see anything. If I look for speed, I don't see anything either. So I will probably start to think of, well, what icons might represent that. And so I'll just kind of go through these sometimes and look for something that might fit the bill there. And for instance, you know, flash, that kind of reminds me of like fast as lightning, right? So I'll go ahead and click on this one and enter a tag for speed and then one for um, fast, maybe efficient, things like that. So that way, now when I come up to this pack and I type on speed, it matches my mental model of how I might label things a little bit better. So whenever you're working on a project and you notice that happening, just make sure you add a tag to your icon so that they're just easier for you to find later. So with that, when we're actually ready to use this, we just click on it, right click, copy. And then I'm gonna jump over to my design app here and click on this layer and then just paste right over here. And this 
pastes the SVG icon. And I'm going to drop that in. I am going to click on the path and change the fill to white. And I'm going to size that appropriately. But as you can see, it's very easy to find and sort and apply these icons. So there's one thing that I noticed about some of these icon sets. If you try and paste the SVG into your file, you'll end up with something like this, which is supposed to be the brush icon. If that happens, there's a chance that that setting that we selected earlier of cleaning up the SVG caused some issues. If that happens, just go back to the icon set and right click and delete it and re-import it. And this time just toggle off that optimize SVG setting. So that happens sometimes, you might have to play around with it, but just know that it's, it's probably okay. You just might need to toggle that on or off and try again. So I'm just going to play around with a few other icons, change the colors, the placement, and add them to my mock-up here. And so that's it. You can imagine now how easy it's going to be the next time you have to select icons for your project and you have everything in there ready to go. I will link to the icon set and some of my favorite packs in the description and you can also check out the blog for more resources. So if you liked this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.